Emergency managers are warning kayakers and rafters about a dangerous scenario right now in the South Fork of the Payette River. A log jam is blocking the left side of the river in a popular stretch for whitewater enthusiasts. The river does have another channel, but it takes proper navigational skills to avoid that log jam. So only experienced paddlers should be out on the water right now. Strainers like these are a river runner's worst nightmare because the water goes through, but boats and people and kayaks get stuck behind. It's a good reminder that conditions on rivers constantly change not only the flows, but debris like rock and trees can create new hazards. It's also high water season in the Payette River system, and while many kayakers look forward to this time of year, there are some serious precautions to take to stay safe on the water. Steve Dents takes us on the river in Boise County. Early season kayaking brings peak flows right out of the gate. <laughs> These are the conditions kayakers live for. It's beautiful, uh, big crashing waves, good volumes, very happy. The area around banks provides different opportunities for different skill levels in the Payette River Basin. You can work from you're the very beginner uh, of kayaking, you run the main, you can work all the way up to the most expert of kayaking on the North Fork. These paddlers took on staircase, but before any kayaker hits the water, they put on their safety gear. Got a good pair of shoes with good grip on the bottom. PFD, this one's a type three. It's got a rescue loop on the back for live bait purposes. If someone gets stuck somewhere, or, um, someone needs to go out and rescue someone. So that's always essential. And then we've always got a river knife handy. Uh, just because if there's any ropes or obstructions to cut those out. Um, and then, of course, you've got a helmet. you got to protect that knowledge. Early season conditions also come with freezing cold water. Rafters normally go with a full-on dry suit, while many kayakers choose a dry top to stay warm. The face and the arms and hands are the only things that get wet. So it's really nice. You've got these latex gaskets, kind of keep water out. and. You know, just keeps it splashy fun all day long. Kayakers travel in packs because it's important to paddle with someone you trust. Have the right crew with you. Learning how to roll after flipping over is the most crucial skill, but you want to practice that first in a safe environment like a pool and perfect that maneuver before ever going to the river. There's also swift water rescue courses in our area. And being in good shape is also key. Yeah, I mean, early season kayaking, uh, hopefully you're driven keeping up on it over the, you know, trying to stay in shape over the winter. Too many cheeseburgers for me. I'm hitting the main, and this is go left rapid, because paddlers also need to know their own skill level and be honest about it. For example, I know I'm not good enough to go down the North Fork. Steve Dent, six on your side.